Uh, my favourite backyard memory would have to be just spending time with my father and brother. The fact is we had to prepare our wicket, get it all organised, uh, mow it, roll it. Um, yeah, so it was just, I guess, spending that time. Uh, one of our favourite rules was to avoid at all costs the pepperina tree on the right hand side of the ground because there was magpies nesting there and so both bowler and batsman had to wear helmets in the height of uh, their nesting season so obviously hit it over in a pepperina tree, avoid the magpies and you're out. Um, junior club was in Kingaroy. We got escalated up the system so youth cricket really became young men's and senior cricket very quickly so I can remember having all these old blokes around me thinking that I couldn't play the game and me being ambitious to try and whack it over their heads. There he goes, that's a glorious strike, he's going to go all the way. I often say to my wife that I feel like I really should have more than one life because I just can't squeeze everything which I'd love to do into one lifetime. <laughs> that was pretty cool, eh? Uh, what's important to me is my family. I really enjoy great food, good company, good friends. Having the opportunity to be outside always is, is the thing that I probably most enjoy about cricket as well. Uh, in, an, in an environment which is not closed and you can just have fun running around. I think one of, one of the things which makes cricket um, so rewarding is the fact that um, we do get extended periods of time at home and so a, a story which sums it up for me is um, uh, when Grace is at school, um, the teacher asks what daddy did and she says, oh my daddy, he writes cookbooks. So to me that kind of sums it up, you know, she, she, she just loves having dad around um, as much as I love being there and she doesn't really care too much about the cricket. A favourite cricketing moment I think is very hard to define, but I would say any time where an individual reaches their dreams and then fulfills their potential. So the likes of Mike Pussy scoring his first 100 in Tasmania, being a part of that partnership, Andrew Simons making his first Test Match 100, um, Justin Langer being retrieved from the dead um, at the Oval and bouncing down with this massive smile on your face that he couldn't contain. Um, those moments, I think, are really what makes me as an individual tick. Over the top goes Matty Hayden. What a century that is. With the summer of tennis right around the corner, Wide World of Sports has every angle covered. From match highlights, press conferences and every breaking news story, Wide World of Sports is your home of tennis. So click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing this summer.